Hey guys, it's Poet Spice, Jamie Lola Tulula, and I am here to do a haul video. I got some stuff in, and I waited for it to kind of accumulate a little bit, and decided we'll do the haul video now. So let me show you some art supplies that I got in. Um, I got in this Jane Davenport fountain pen with three different color inks. I got the black one and I loved it, so I had to get this one. I was like, oh my gosh. I got some jelly roll pens. Perfect for coloring. I got two sets of the Prima watercolor tins. I got the Woodland and the Tropicals, and I love the colors. What? Look at that. Look how beautiful they are. And then here's the Tropicals. They're all bright and lovely. Love it. I just wanted to try those out. I know that I did talk about these markers, but I'm not sure. Whatever. So I got some Ohuhu markers. They are alcohol markers. And I'm going to do a re review, reveal, whatever about those. Let's just say interesting. I also got in these art sticks markers I wanted some skin tones and like I said I think I showed these before I know one said I didn't but so these are skin tone markers from Arctix or art it looks like it should be art sticks but art I guess and then I think this was the one I was waiting on but I can't remember so I got aspire color Ooh. I wanted to try these out as well. And this is a big old pack. <laughs> look at it, look at it, look at it. So I will be doing review. Now these weren't in there. These are Nouveau markers, but there's some room in the back, so I stuffed them in there. So I will be doing reviews on all these for those people who would like to see them. Okay, so those are the art coloring supplies. But you know I love. If you hear buzzing in the background, Mr. Man decided that he was going to shave. So that's what all that is. All right. I got in some stuff from Doodle Bug Waka. Okay. You guys know. I'm going to show you the card. So this is the card. Doodle Bug Wa. And it gives you some information here. Can I say that I love, 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 love that shop? Okay. She ships quickly. I'm like, woo, because you know I hate waiting. <laughs> you know I hate waiting. So she ships quickly. Love it. So what I got from her was from Pretty Pink Posh. I saw these on the new release. I don't even know how. I saw, well, no, it was an ad from uh, Toodlebug Wall. So it was in my mail, and they showed these cute little hummingbirds. Now, actually, I thought they were bigger than this. So when I got it, I was like, oh, man. I thought they were like, you know, maybe about one and a half times bigger. But they're still cute. So <clears throat> I got this because I thought they were adorable. And, of course, it's me. So if there's a die, I'm probably going to have it. Then she does free shipping at $30. So, of course, you know, I'm like, I don't want to pay shipping. <laughs> So I had to get that up to $30. So if you don't know, you do now. I love these Pure Innocence girls. And they used to have some little boys. So they had this is from the new one. And I was like, okay, I'll get that one. And of course, the die. So that was from Doodle Buck Wah. Love it. Alrighty then. That's the stuff from Create and Craft came in. And so let me separate that for y'all. We'll do Tattered Lace Create and Craft first. And then we'll do the other. Okay. So I got in this Garage Girl die. And they have Charisma too, so that'll be all colored up. So this was like super cheap and then a couple weeks ago well actually more than a couple weeks ago they had a new release and they had these lacy ladies 
and I thought they were gorgeous. And I liked, well one, I liked the detail, and two, I liked it because you can't really see their faces. You can only see the part of them. Because I will say this, as much as I like tattered lace dyes, sometimes the faces that they put on their, their people dyes look weird. And so this, they don't have eyeballs, so you don't have to worry about it. Love that. Then I got this one, and I was waiting on this one for a while. So it's called the Breton, and it has this little basket-like layer here, and this connects, so you can either make it separate pieces, or you can put it together and make a frame. And then you have your 3D decoupage, and you can layer it up, backing layers, you can cut into the, oh, loveliness. And as you can see, it's a big die. So, on here, the picture that they give you, see that? This is only 70% of the size, so. Oh, huge, love it. Can't wait to play with that. Okie dokie then. Then, the next thing I got from Creating Craft was from Hunky Dory. So, they had this Christmas release, and I showed you the previous one, and they had this on clearance, basically. So, I bought this. And then they had the die set to go with it. And so you can see how it works. You can either cut it on the edge, you could cut it on the other edge, you could cut the topper out, or you could just stamp it on top. So I love this when it came out for Christmas, but I did not want to pay that. So, <laughs> got it at a clearance price. Then the other thing I got on clearance was this a big set of stamps. Boo -boo -boo. Hunky Dory for the love of stamps. And they always release like nine or ten, I think, at a time. And so, this is the set. Love this. Big old sunflower. I'm trying to get that glare off, but if I, it's like late at night. So if I don't have the light on, you can't see. Then they have this one, which is cute. And I like how the mason jar is cut out in the center so you can put things inside the mason jar. How cute is that, little ladybugs? The only thing I don't like is they don't have dyes for these. So, <clears throat> fussy cut it is. Or I could drag out my, what is that thing? Scan and cut, which I hate. I can't stand it. I wish maybe Skin and Cut would like send me something, like a, one of the new ones to actually see if I like that one better. That would be so awesome. So if there's anybody out there who works for Skin and Cut and would like to send me the new SD model. All right, now you guys know I'm not really big into unicorns, but I thought these were cute when I saw them because they're fat unicorns. <laughs> then you have your backgrounds. And then they have like this rainbow where you can stamp it in different colors. I'll probably de-stash these two. Or put them in Happy Mail. Then they have this, which is cute. This little happy. I might do one of these for my little doodle days. So cute. And then they have like this one. Yeah, all that noise is him in the bathroom showering and all that kind of stuff. And these little tennis shoes. <laughs> little lantern. Then they had this one, which I absolutely love because I've been wanting one of these little tractors. <laughs> so this was so cute. And then finally, you have like a barbecue grill one. It's harder to see it on the red. But, let's see which one has it. I you can see it better. There you go. You can see what it looks like better on a barbecue grill. How cute is that, right? Oh my gosh. So that was for Hunky Dory. Then I got in stuff from, I got in the tonic, <clears throat> we'll do that one. I got in the tonic 29 kit. I didn't do an unboxing. Um, I mean, it had the regular stuff in it, the, the new bows and all that kind of stuff. So I didn't do an unboxing, but here are the die sets and the stamp sets. So they have these cute little butterflies, butcher flies, let me show it to you that way. A little bit, a little drag. Oh, that's a cool drag. I haven't really had a chance to look at it. <coughs> Excuse me. And then here's the die set. So it's the dot and drop, and 
what that means is like you can run this through your die cutting machine and it won't cut out the little swirls but it'll put the little dots in and then you can go back and put nouveaus in it or you don't have to but that's what the, the premise is and then you can see the wings and the extra pieces and bits here so that would go like in there and then you could put those in there and then you have this piece and this piece here so that's pretty cool and then the dragonfly will fall out and so will this butterfly so that is also what came the tonic kit excuse me let's see craft stash because it's tonic as well so craft stash is a uk company and they had a sale so i got some stuff from there so let's do the stuff that's not tonic first this one Creative expressions. I thought that was so pretty. And then the Paper Boutique. You might notice this company from when I did my December daily, which I still have to videotape, by the way. Shh. So I thought this was cute. I like this little lattice kind of background. It says, all you need is love. I don't really buy too many Valentine's Day stuff because I don't really do Valentine's. I don't have kids that go to school and do all that kind of crap. All right. Next is Tonic. Well, you know, they have their media dies, which means you can cut through thicker stuff. And these were on sale, so I got the cogs. Because y'all know I love my stable. And then they had this. I thought this was cute because I don't have a lot of dragonfly stuff, but I thought this was a really pretty flourish. And then you have the extra pieces, so it looks like that. And then you can see that's a pretty decent sized die right there. So I loved that one. And then they had, there's one piece of this I don't have because they were out in the shop at Craft Stash. They came out with these little baskets and I didn't buy it on Create and Craft because I wasn't paying the price they wanted for it. So I was like, meh. Well, on Craft Stash, they had a decent price for them. And I was like, okay, we'll do that. So they had the bases, a small, a medium, and the tall. The piece I don't have is the tall set. So here's the base. And you can make, uh, what is it? I think it's an octagon. I think it's an octagon. Uh, can't see. Yeah, I think it's eight sides. One, two, three, four. Yeah. So you can make an octagon. Uh... One, two, three, four, five. Uh, hexi and a square. Okay, then it has your little handle and then you've got your decorative layers that you can go through and so forth. So then you can also just go ahead and use these as bases. All right, so it looks like that. And then they have the sides. So this is pretty much like the box setup. So you have to have the bases and then you can make the sides. So this is the small or short side. And you have these panels in there. So sew it this way so you can see. Boop. And so you have the inside panels and so forth. You have basically what is an edger die here. So you don't even have to use it on there, but you can. Then you've got like this basket design and a flower design. And what's the other one? Butterflies? Yeah, butterflies. So I thought that was pretty. And then you have the medium one. So this one has this panel which is like an Easter egg panel here let me show you these boop, boop, boop. so you can see that better so you've got that little like flower design an Easter kind of egg thing um, this one over here which is the flower and then you've got these pieces to decorate the little <coughs> flappy wings and so that you could put them so they go like this and have the wings out or you could put them on the inside so that was that little set and I was like yeah I'll pay that for it all right, then the last thing I got was from our, well, it used to be our daily brand and now it's called Divinity Designs. And I got there, this was a little <coughs> a bundle. It's the Card Caddy gift bag. And it came with, so I can pull it out. So you get this die set here that makes the bag and gives you the design and the handle. And then this one just a panel and some little doodads and then this part that makes the holes in the bag labels and a little liner or header whatever you want to call it so that came in yay 
so so excited which was good because you know since i was not feeling good it's always nice when mr man would bring me <laughs> bring in my presents like look what came in the mail all right i shall see you guys later thanks for watching look out for my next video on um I'll have a DT project for the Not Too Shabby Shop. I will have, somebody asked me, was I going to do a tutorial on these baskets for tonic? So if anybody is actually interested in a tutorial for that, let me know. Also, if you'd like to see a tutorial for the Divinity Designs one. I mean, it's been out for a while, but just let me know if you'd like to see tutorials on any of those. And I shall see you next time. Thank you. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I shall see you later.